friends. This week we learned that not only is it important for us to listen to our parents or our teachers or to what God tells us in the Bible, but when we listen and we get new information, we are supposed to add that to the things that we've already learned from our parents or our teachers or from God's Word. It's very important that we continue to listen and continue to add to what we've learned so that we can grow and we can learn more and become wiser and make good choices again and again as we go through life. We see several examples of this in the Bible. We talked about how Jesus, when he was only 12 or 13 years old, was in the temple talking to the, the leaders and the teachers and asking questions and talking with them about the scrolls so that he could learn what God wanted, so that he could learn what he was supposed to do, what he was supposed to teach, what he was supposed to share as he got older. And in the same way we find in the Bible now, plenty of examples of how God wants us to listen to what he has to say and learn, add it to what we've learned so that we can continue to make right choices and to share his good news with others. For example, if you look in the book of James, chapter 1, verse 19 reads, My dear brothers and sisters, understand this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to anger. I really want you to hone in on that, quick to listen. If we can stop and slow ourselves down so that we don't have to be the first ones to talk and we turn up our listening ears, we will get some valuable information, whether it's from the Bible when we're reading a daily verse or from our teachers maybe at school or at church or from our parents when they're trying to help us with maybe a difficult situation or something where we're not sure what we're supposed to do. We also find another example of God telling us to listen if you turn in your Bible to the book of Luke in chapter 11, verse 28 reads, He said, and this is Jesus we're talking about, so Jesus said, Rather, blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. So if we hear the word of God from a teacher or a preacher or we read it in the Bible, we hear the word of God and we keep it, that means we're obeying, we're doing what he asked. So that means we've taken what we learned in the Bible and added it to the other stuff that we already knew. And so we're going to keep doing what God wants. And then our last scripture that we can find this information is in the book of Mark, chapter 4. And verse 24 says, And he said to them, and again, we're talking about Jesus because this is in the Gospels. So Jesus said to them, Pay attention to what you hear by the measure you use, it will be measured to you, and more will be added to you. And that's a perfect example. Jesus is telling us that if we listen and we choose to understand, all of that information will be imparted to us, but we have to stop and listen, or we won't have that information to continue to grow and to be added to our knowledge bank. Now, today, I'm going to show you an example of a way that it might be important to take bits and pieces and add them um, a little bit at a time instead of just saying, oh, I know exactly what to do and going right for it. So here I have two pieces of wood and I have a nail and a hammer. And my goal is to get this nail through the pieces of wood and to be flat. And so I, I need to do, I'm gonna do this with just one quick hammer. Um, I don't think I need to take my time. I know everything I need to know and I can do it. So here I go, ready? I did not achieve my goal. Unfortunately, I didn't slow down. I didn't stop to think or listen and I didn't take my time. Um, but I know that from learning when I was younger, my dad teaching me how to hammer a nail, that that is not how you're supposed to do it. So if I stop and I think about what I'm going to do, I know the best way to achieve my goal is to start with the nail in my hand and to slowly tap it in. So now it has a firm foundation. And then I'm just going to hammer it all 
the way down. And see, because I was willing to take a few extra steps and a little bit more time, I was able to accomplish my goal. And in the same way, it's important that when we're given a task or we're trying to figure out how to do something or to learn something new, it's important that we listen to the advice given to us and add it to what we already know. I hope you guys have a great week and I can't wait to see you soon. Bye.